Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. This is another Edge TX tutorial video. Now here we're going to discuss assigning sounds to switches and also setting up sound volume so that you can turn the volume down because when I'm working on the bench a lot with my radios, obviously I don't want the sound up high, but you may want it up higher when you're out at the field and there's other aeroplanes flying around. So let's switch over to my ReadyMaster TX16S and we'll have a look at these settings. Now let's take a look at the radio. First thing we want to do is hit the system button. We're going to go across until we get to global functions. Now you can see in here, I'm going to edit this. We've got the switches on. We've selected the function volume and I've selected the switch is S1. And I've enabled it. If we tap that, it will unenable it and then we can re-enable it. So if we come back out of here, now if I hit the arm switch, nothing's happening because the volume is down. If I put the volume up and then if we put it up full, it might distort a bit, but so obviously we could adjust that at the, you know, if we're at the field, we could have it on loud. If we're working on our radio at home, we'd be able to turn the volume down. Now let's assign a sound to a switch. So if we tap our screen and we go to model settings and we go to the second to last option, which is our special function, you can see I've got the special function one and two, which is set up for armed and disarmed, switch SF forward or back. Now if we tap the S, uh, special function three and we tap here, so the switch, and now we move our switch into the position we want and then tap. Now we've, we've selected that switch in the middle position. We can put it back. Now we're going to click on override, which is the function, and we're going to say play track, which is there. Now we are going to click the tap on the next window, uh, option, sorry, and we're going to, let's say, acro mode. Okay, and tap, and we're going to go enter. Let's just stop there. Let's take a look at where it says repeat. And you can see at the moment it says one times. If you change that option to exclamation mark one times then when you turn your radio on that sound will not play so if you've got a lot of different modes on your radio they wouldn't all go off when you turn the radio on only when you operate the radio once it's booted up and we should have now set that up so when we pull the switch sb4 into the middle there we go and back again so it's as simple as that to be able to set up and assign sounds to your switches you can also obviously assign um, you could use, instead of using a physical switch, it could be a logical switch that uh, sets uh, the special function uh, operating. So you could have a, a sound on a special function. Well, I do hope you found that video useful. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.